start, we should be broadcasting live on YouTube. Let me uh, make sure, because sometimes there's a delay you know, before it starts. I want to make sure uh, that the thing is broadcasting. Yes, I... It should be on very soon. I think it is starting right now. Starts, yeah. Sure. Boom! We're on with the Truman Show, episode 123, with my brother, Teacher Eddie. How are you, Teacher? Blessed love and honors, man. All is good, man. We just give thanks, you know. Living. <laughs> yes, I. Great. Yeah, living, giving thanks for life. That's why I'm here. Give thanks for life. That's why you're here. Eh? That's yes, what I. unites us always is giving thanks for life. But it's a great, uh, great honor for me again to uh, receive you on the Truman Show. I feel highly favored. It's always, uh, you know, it's like, like I told you before, it's like interviewing Bob Marley for me. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it, yeah, there's, in my mind, in my mind space, there's well, no difference. Well, I'm well, with Jamaica. Yeah, so we, there's a similarity, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, w I would be in the in the same state of bliss having Bob yeah. Marley or Teacher D. To me, there's no difference, so I give thanks a lot. And, uh, you know, it comes with action. For sure, it comes with action. It, I didn't end up on the Truman Show with Teacher D without action. We know that. Uh, when you yeah, go after what you want in life also, good things are going to happen. That's reality, man. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So today we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. I have a lot of things that I want to discuss with you. Your new album, for sure, because yeah. you just put out a new album. Massive vibe on this. Rastafari like, Highway, yeah, man. Yeah, Rastafari Highway. And an album that came at the perfect timing also in the, if I can say, on the reggae scene. But uh, yes, yeah. I... But first of all, I would like to, you know, there's a lot of, you know, each one to each one. So yeah, that's man. why we have Teacher D here today. Each yeah, one, each one. And you yes, have sir. taught me a lot of stuff through your music. I'm very, very continually inspired with your music. I listen to your music. Uh, like I said, I I'm not going to lie, uh, pretty much every day. I think there's not a day that I, especially yeah. some some songs that I really, really uh, like. I like them because they really come and pump me. Also, when I do my shows and stuff, I get a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, my uh, energy from reggae music, yes, I, from yes, your I. music, from your music. And if there's one thing you taught me and you came to me at the moment, you know, I research a lot in conspiracies and stuff like that. And we know that it's an endless search. It will land you from one rabbit hole to another. It's nonsense. Yeah, man. So yeah, man. Yeah, man. At one point, I was listening to your music and I was uh, listening to Jaja is Calling. A yeah. song that is a video that is going uh, viral, I can say that it's <laughs> over. Uh, it's have, it have it's, a few players, yes, but it's it's doing its it's doing its job, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's going uh, fast on YouTube and everything. It's picking up speed, and that's good. That's what we yeah. want, you know. We want people to hear the call. Jaja is calling. I heard it. Many people have heard it too. We yeah, have. Wow seen the light or something but mostly what i've learned into that uh, song is to not put the hype of the world on top of my head and yeah, that's yeah. what you say in that song and that was a game changer for me as soon as i heard this and when you go and you say there is a lot of slow learner i know that you know yeah. all this <laughs> uh, all this so get, tell me a little bit uh, more about it I'm happy here and not offended by that um line that i made because not a lot of people you know, I agree with this statement, you know, you know, but this is it. In this world, awareness is the thing. And out of awareness come a level of consciousness, you know, and not because you are aware of something mean you should dive fully into it with all of your consciousness and focus and, you know, choose to align with it. Because we must also remember that there is no such thing as bad publicity these days. And people rather negative publicity more than a good publicity, good positive publicity. Because I tell you something, if you hear tomorrow that Teacher D was in a major crime, I would be trending. <laughs> people would, now people would listen to my music. Let me hear what he's singing. Oh my God, he's a criminal, you know? But once you're doing something yeah. good, it's not being published and it's not being promoted very well. So the reason these things happen is people pay a lot of attention and focus on things they become aware of that they don't agree with. And this is not, this also helped this topic to trend and to become more popular. 
So it's exactly. best to focus on what you love and what you really gravitate towards than to be fighting, you know, against something because you're still promoting it by providing attention. Exact. This is what we're doing, and this is what I understood that I was doing by not yeah. that I, I'm a big conspiracy guy. I always sense it was low vibration. I always sense, but there's certain stuff that attracted me, and I was uh, yeah, really into it until I realized also that it's very important. That's why focusing on your dream, focusing yeah. on you, focusing yes, on I, you, yes, on I. actualizing yourself your in this matrix yeah, is yeah, key. Yeah, is yeah, man. So, yeah, man. you know i understood that at one point and uh, yeah i just mm -hmm. shift my awareness completely you know, when i yeah. start focusing on you you know instead of thinking that it's you against the world it's you against you yeah sometimes all right this is the reality that we face with now there are so many things to distract us from what we should be doing and the purpose we choose in life I mean, a lot of people like football, a lot of people like volleyball, them like netball, all these other games, cricket. And I, I say it is good to have them in small amounts and at times when you don't have something to do about your thing. But if you find yourself for days and days and days and days just lost in video games, for example, your life just pass you by, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> so it exactly. is also important to balance, you know, balance. And that is the most important thing to I, is a balance, yeah. you know? Because if you are constantly pulled into distraction, man, yeah, and conspiracy, yeah. conspiracy is a distraction also. Yeah, like, man, yeah, man. It can no. be, it can be. Yeah. You know, as I say, once you're aware of something, you know, becoming aware of something is, is one point. Yeah. But what do you do now that you are aware of it? You know what I mean? How, how does this affect your life? Sometimes it just does not affect your life. It just proves that what you thought was happening is happening. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And yeah. if, you, if we look outside of ourselves, uh, pretty yeah. much we'll find lies. So you want to seek truth. Yeah, seek so yourself. much, man. If it's our five senses are lying to us right now, you know what I mean? Reality is just sometimes... Not sometimes, most times not what you think it is, you know? Yeah, exactly. If yeah, there, man. like, for people that don't know uh, teacher Dina, if there would be, I, I had that question in mind the other day, I was sitting, I was listening yeah. to your music, and I was like, if I ask teacher D, if there's one song in all his uh, library that he would say, like, someone doesn't know you, ah. and want to know, hey, I'm putting you on the spot there. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh. if there's one song that you would suggest to someone that really... Uh, I have one. I have one from you, but uh, I want to let oh, you... You want to hear my own. If I want... Yeah. It depends, you know. And this is serious. Uh, when I meet people and I, I'm suggesting my songs to them, I do a little analysis of the person in a way. Not judging, you know. Just become a little more aware of who this person is and from where this person is coming from. So when I reason with some people and realize that, you know, these people have a lot of pain with love or a lot of pain with this, that not being successful or these things, there is a different song for that person. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if right now, it's very hard. You know, if I meet someone who already is on a certain journey, this person can listen to songs like um, Heart Desire. That is on the album. You yeah. see that song, Heart Desire? A lot of people have not even connected with that song because it is deep, you know? And then you have songs like Do Today, you know, on the album. We are talking recent songs now. But if I had to say, if you want to know who Teacher is, maybe you should go and listen back to Reggae Soldier. That was recorded yeah. a very long time ago, 2008, I think. That's Reggae what, Soldier. That's, Start at that's... Reggae Soldier. We are reggae soldiers, and we don't need no gun. You know, it explains the philosophy behind my decision to do reggae music. You that, know? that was one of mine, and also I had another one that I listen so often, Rastafari Rise with House of Rhythm. <laughs> yeah, all right. Rastafari Rise is a song wow. that I use to explain what is happening with the young Rastas now. 
you know and that is a deep tune too you know yeah it, it really deep stuff yeah it go it go at some people without being too aggressive you know even yeah. the journalists i had something there where i said it's it, it's time the journalists should have show more interest to the the seeds where i grow you know yeah. would that put positive vibration around go around the youth them with evil surround and help lift the stress cut the filthiness in a righteousness the news must invest so you know just a little punch you know not aggressive as we say you know awareness you know no but that, that's it that's what that's the message pretty much that you're giving with your music you're never very aggressive with your lyrics you're just no, uh, no. spreading awareness spreading and raising awareness that's why i yeah. chose the title raising the awareness uh, rastafari way because this is what you do you know you're a teacher uh, after all mm -hmm. that your uh, job before was uh, teaching uh, high school eh? that's yeah, what you told yeah. Me. yeah mathematics well, eh, too, I, so. i used to teach mathematics and yeah. integrated science and computers too so and i learned a lot in school but i'm, I'm going to tell you something when i started to raise my awareness i realized i could learn a lot just by looking at nature and it's a lot nature to choose to teach i and i right watch this energy now this is why i don't sing aggressive music if you look at water water is a liquid and if you put your hand in it like this slowly your hand can go into the water without any damaging, any pain, any damaging effect, nothing like this. But if you take your hand and do like this, bam, underwater, you can even break a few fingers. So in, in this life now, the message is, you have an issue with, that, with something, it doesn't mean you have to force your way into or onto this, in, this issue. Just like water, just be patient and gentle with it and you can go into it and do whatever you want to do but if you try to be aggressive it can hurt you too so That's, this aggression is not really the best way to approach situations aggressive behavior just come back at you with the equal and opposite force and can break you up man can yeah. break you too you know what i mean like like bruce lee said uh, be water my friend yeah yeah, yeah. i, I yeah. saw that clip he said be water my friend you have to adjust to you know and fit But not only that, you don't be aggressive in all situations, man. A, a nice, them say, a calm answer turn away right, you know? So yeah, my yeah. music is like that. It's not too aggressive. I mean, I sing a song say Beat Babylon, you know? But then I say, with music. <laughs> That's it, Beat yeah. Babylon with music. music. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, It's that so album, easy. that album was a masterpiece. Also, the reggae soldier, yeah. the, the 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 album. How, how long ago have you recorded this album, that, and where? That album was not really done as an album. I must be honest to you. That album was a release of the singles that were out before, and some that I had working on. So unlike Rastafari Way, where I had a team and work with the team of Rastafari Way, this album just was a collection of singles. And you, you will find that some songs were on there that were released five, six years before, you know? Because yeah. it and came out in 2011. Okay. Yeah. And it had yeah. songs like Reggae Soldiers and those things. I have songs even re recorded from 2006, you know, Smoke and Fly and those things. Yeah, so yeah, that's, that's the real one of your album, first song. Man. The real true album is Rastafari Way, yeah. you know? That's the consecration of your career. That's the, yeah. the turning point in your career. It's the like uh, everybody also, the critics about it are very, very positive. I haven't heard anybody, uh, whether it's yeah. on Facebook or Reggaeville or whatever, they all have good critics about it. It's, uh, it's yeah, a man, masterpiece. I, I, yeah. I give thanks to that because I put a lot of work into it. And let me tell you something. The reason why I didn't release any music since 2011 a lot of people ask me, and I'm going to tell you the answer now. I took my time to learn about the people I'm singing to now. I took my time. I went around. I did a lot of shows, and I learned a bit about the French culture, a bit about the Italian culture, a bit about the German culture, a bit about the Netherlands and the Holland culture. So when it comes down to my music, I, I kind of changed the music so the people can better understand what i'm bringing forward i didn't just force my jamaican culture and people and say yo get this understand this no so it took me some years to figure out 
the speed and the flow that these people like to get the message in. And I tried to learn a little from all the languages so I could understand where they're coming from. So it's just like my teaching days. I get a new class and you spend some time to know who you are singing to. And that's what I did for about three years straight, you know? Not focusing on making something to give them, but to understand them and figure out the best way to bring message to them. But this is what we feel from you also. You're very uh, humble, very close to people, very accessible, yeah. very... Uh, like, you can get in touch with each other any time if you have a yeah, great heart. And, uh, you know, if we connect on the same level, I have never had problem getting in touch with you. I mean, you're very accessible. That, that is the thing. Humble. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. And a lot of people abuse it still. But they have never changed my mind from being openly accessible. Yeah, you know? that's it. That's it. But that's what we have to make ourselves accessible also for that's others right. during our journey. It's very important. Just that's like right. I make myself accessible to others. Listen, my dream is uh, becoming a motivational speaker, but I have to help the maximum people on the way yeah. to my dream. And I know my way is into reggae music and that. So I'm finding my way each and every show, each and every, you know, that, that's, that's, all, that's the that's journey. Living. That's it all living in a daily yeah. thing. Yeah, um, the daily thing. This is what know, matters. Yeah, all right. You know what is most fulfilling about being accessible to people for me? I have, I'm not, I won't identify now, but I have more than four different individuals who have connected with me and have decided not to commit suicide. Then they are more into life now with a purpose than what they, where they were before. Yeah. No, I told them I didn't save you. You save yourself. But a lot of people reach out for help, you know. And um, not everyone is willing to help. And some people try too hard to help. So I don't go around and give people advice, you know. I am online and sometimes people come and ask me some simple questions. And I don't know their background, as I say. And when they ask me these questions, then I ask back a question. And then they reveal to me that, man... Seriously, man, I was giving up, man. I was going to take my life, teacher, man. And we said, no, King, think about it again. You know, how much people, you know, you can't, you're not spiting anyone with this. <laughs> think about yourself, man. And then like, yeah, it's true, you know. We said, no, man, don't even try to do this to spite the world, you know. They're just going to bury you and forget about you, man. That's think it. about yourself. Man. This is really what you want, you know. So to tell you the truth, yeah, a couple of people well, and you know some other people with some little, uh, some little simple issues like anxiety problems and panic attacks, and you know they talk to me and we get through. But you know that this is the the duty that we have to carry the truth to inspire our people. If we have the strength yeah. to act from the, the, you know, because we are in a time that the the thoughts of the divine are manifest through us. This is yes, what I, we see. Yes, I, exactly. everyone. So, Everyone, the thought of the yeah. divine are manifest through us. So if you are yeah. can make yourself being a good channel for the divine, you will inspire yeah. other but people. That's as I say, as I say, is everyone because I learn from the item too. Because yeah. not every time I in a total positive vibration. Sometimes I in a negative vibration too, and I try to come out of it, you know. And then exactly. I'm full of ring and someone says, "Teacher, what go on? Blah blah blah." But just get back up positive again so it's, it's a daily process of living you know yeah. what i mean that's what I, that's that's i and i philosophy positivity I'm, but you don't believe you can just be a perma you're stuck in a permanent positivity and just continue like autopilot things will come at you on a daily basis and that is what is called living. <laughs> exactly. Because, yeah. uh, you know, uh, sometimes we have the, 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 this assumption that because you're teacher D, you're on the eye all the time. No, you know, I have I have <laughs> myself low highs. I don't have down. I have low highs. Yes, you know? I. Yes, but I. then I put teacher D on and I'm back high. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes that's what I do too but yeah. I listen to as I said before I listen to culture Joseph Culture Hill Jarrison yeah. Soul and I listen yeah. to Pat Kelly I listen to some of the older music and not because they are old but the message nowadays change a bit and most of the new music I hear is aggressive and we just talk about aggression you know they, I mean the people mean good but them kind of rebelling still. Them not reach an inner peace 
them them still a rebel like them just wake up or them angry about something and in life you know if anything that makes you hang angry listen to this one anything that make you angry it's because of something inside of you you know exactly. it, it pull up the anger out of you so whether it is whether it is insecurity or disappointment or shame any external influence that cause you to feel this there is something inside you that you need to fix yeah yeah, yeah because you know, this feeling is reminds you sometimes it is something from your childhood you know long time ago you have to sit and meditate and find these things and just say to yourself why am i angry now at this situation what is it reminding me of something about me now is something something is reminding me of this feeling what is it and you look at the situation and you say wait i am angry now because back in the past i went through the same thing and i never forgive the person or i never forgive myself and you know angry 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 yeah and a lot of things a lot of the emotions that that are due to trauma back in the past or something like that yeah. but also you know the rebel being a rebel for a long time in my life i thought being a rebel was being rebel against babylon against no you're, you're helping and babylon <laughs> that's it for a long time i had yeah, that in my babylon head babylon want a war you know man the ba yeah. babylon want war so the, the more war you push is good babylon have an excuse now to just kill out some good people yeah but at you one point, I, mean? I, I realized that the rebellion has to happen against the program that's been put inside yes. my head. This yes. is where the rebellion has to happen. So, yeah. you know, that's what I... <laughs> but as I say, if you, learn, if you learn from nature, even when you're working for a company, the best action is a strike, you know? Yeah. It's not really to get too bored and go into the company and break two glass and hold the boss by his neck. No, that will never fix nothing. But if all of the workers are spas and say, we're not, we're not going to work today, silently and sit, the, the boss have to come and say, what is the problem? And you say, these are the things we think should be better. And these are the things we need. And these are the things we choose. And the boss may say, well, I can give this or I can give that. And we all agree and go back to work. Look at that move. Done to get two fire burned down the building, burn some tire in the road, throw two stones through the glass, and then all of this costs. The company said, we can't give you the raise that you wanted because you have to fix what you just destroy. Yeah. So think of it this way. The more we are destructive in Babylon, the more problems we put ourselves in. Because when Babylon cannot force you to do anything, they will have to approach you differently. It, it is just law. That's how it works. So yeah. when we when we we become rebels and start to do certain things, we then they have the excuse to kill us off. Yeah, they just start to kill us off and then say, "You see, I told you they were not good." You see. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I decided at one point it's the program inside my head. I have to format that program in my head yeah, man. and start Especially opening to the my little arms. Ones, not true. The little ones that are gonna replace us, they have to learn now to be loving, kind, caring, and not to operate under fear, anger, shame, exactly. destruction. You yeah. know, what do we want to do with the younger generation? Teach them our fears or teach them what's possible? <laughs> you know? <laughs> teach them what's possible. That's what that's where we're in. That's yes, where I am. That's where yes, you are. Sir. And we're yes, not like I, we're Babylon. Well, uh, like you said, the last show we had together. If it's not Babylon, it's going to be something else. So well, there there will that's always a question, be a system. Eh? That is the question. That. that is a question. Are we saying we don't want a system, or we want a better system? You see, this is the thing. Yeah. Do we want no system at all, meaning free for all and <laughs> no structure, no nothing, or? We're saying we need a better system. Babylon's system not working. We need a better system. But in the end, we all the solar system is a system. <laughs> Everything working together is a call a system. A yeah. system have parts working together. That's what a system is. So if we form, if we start to work together on Earth, we are really forming a system, which is a new system. Exactly. <laughs> this one so not working. <laughs> 
So it will never be the, the free for all. I can't see no, that happening. No, no, no. Is it the free for all in your house, teacher? No. No, but that <laughs> is not it. how nature works either. Nature, nature is abundant. Yeah? yeah. Nature have abundance, but they're working together. It is not random. Hey, when you think it out, straight down to even the atoms, yeah. it's not really random things going on. You know, the trees Everything that are yeah. produce food is not just randomly producing the apple tree today don't produce plum like yes this tree just randomly produce fruits today it's plum yesterday it was apple no so all of them are work towards a certain purpose a certain vibration yeah. you know so mankind must just find their purpose and vibration rasta you know yeah. When I think about reggae music, another subject I want to talk to you about, when I think about reggae music, I see you guys collaborating a lot together. Yeah, and I yes, see sir. that, that a, must, happen. Yeah. a must, because this is how I discovered you through Perfect Gids Manny. Now yeah, we're yeah. going to talk about per the influence of Perfect also in your career, in your yeah. uh, ascension or whatever you want to call it. Yes, sir. Your, uh, yeah, for sure. Because collaboration that's how i discover most of the artists that i go and promote well, i discover them through other artists but now how do you organize all this uh, collaboration together all the time like it, this is the part that really interests me how you do know, you come up with all this you know you know as i said before i met gidimani in jamaica a very long time ago when i was coming from kingston on a studio and i I said to him, Good morning. I and the I must do a song, you know. And he said, Yeah, man. But we just leave it at there. That is the thing. You see, thoughts become reality. And many times when we think of things and speak it into being, it just it don't appear like magic in front of you, like instantly. Blam. So sometimes we don't even remember when we put that thought out. That creative consciousness, you know what I mean? That's the far right way. So when I said that to Gidiman many years before. It never materialized until in its correct timing. Because I reach out to him, you know, that is the thing. And that is the thing all of the young artists they must know to. They have to reach out. Don't believe that artist is just going to walk around and look for you to find you. You have to do something if you're yourself. Try to produce your own music. Try to do some music. Let people see you doing music. Make it be clear that I intend to do music then artists will find you so this is the thing when 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 i was supposed to do a collaboration when we dg said teacher we will need a collaboration from you to put on the vp album i said all right and then we brainstorm and we reach out and Gidiman is the one who reacted positively i reach out to many you know, and just one person reacted positively and oh, that was yeah. a big show we're not afraid Oh, I don't know I if listen to it every week. Other artists, but yeah, we know Frey, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was uh, scaring other artists, you know, but Gidimani was not afraid. And we did that one, and from that link came a lot of singles, even the hit songs now. It's Gidimani, he stood over them and said, Yo, teacher, this is good. This is the speed you should be singing at. You know, you know those other rhythms you're singing at? Yeah, you are creative and <laughs> you are skillful, but the true soul of your music should go at this speed and this level of delivery. I miss I for real. Cause I you see, I am open to listen and to learn from everyone. And when I tell I that, I just take it and say, All right, let me put this into my system now. I me just put it in. The first one was traffic light dread. The second one was Jaja is calling. No, the second one was Rastafari way. And it just keep going. Emperor Selassie, it just keep going, keep going, keep yeah. going. Even the one that just released yesterday, calm down. The one that said, calm down, cool down, yeah. control your emotions. Just calm down, cool down, don't be a botheration. It's, this, these are the things that we sing, you know? <laughs> No, there's a great, uh, great yeah. association uh, with you and uh, Perfect Gids Manny. I can see that growing even more. Yeah, but Craig, Craig is such a, such a great man, and he, you can feel yeah. he wants to help people, but he doesn't want to give a handout. Like he's not there to, to for you to take a you. No, you, you, you have to do things yourself. You exactly. see, come right back to this. 
But and if you if you reach out and you say, Teacher D, all right, listen this. What do you think? And if the person said to you, say, see that part, fix it, man. It you not know, deliver the right way. And I like the rest of it, but this part, work on that, work on that. You shouldn't have no ego. But, no, man, me a sing long time. No boy can't tell me nothing. Yo, me a, me a big artist. These things <laughs> prevent artists from going to a better or more creative level. But you know, because this is not a big thing or a small thing, you know. It's just yeah. good works, creative works. You know what I mean? I think it's like the rest of the world, man. Once the ego dissolves, the love yeah. starts to shine. The love it's starts like, to it's shine. A shift, man. It's, it's, a, it's, a, shift. it's a natural shift. You cannot avoid it. It's the moment like, you let uh, down your ego, you put down the layers of ego, you're going to yeah. start shining love. You have no choice. That That's the natural shift. But, Johnny, <laughs> let me show you something. As an artist, being, being in this music thing, I would say from about 2011 actively, and from 27, 2007, and 6, 7, I, all the big artists that I met, some artists I did, didn't even know I would sit beside, I was surprised to know that they are humble people who like to laugh and just sit and chill. Yeah. And you know, you know the thing is, the ones that I met that were like hype and they are like godlike in their appearance and their attitude, they are not on the level of these other ones. I'm serious, you know, man. I mean, some artists who win Grammy, some artists who perform to thousands, who have been doing it from 90s, 80s, 70s. When I met these people, these people were good, humble, positive energy people. And some artists that I meet that have just started and some who in between two. You, you can't they, they are, I, I don't see I don't even know what word to put to what they're yeah. doing because yeah. it's not the real person too you know because sometimes when you just meet them that is the energy you get but after a while you see the real person yeah. you know so not all of them they are being them true selves in, in the reality of life you know them have this image and Whatever but, it is. But that's what I find. That's what I find. A lot of people have image to protect. And the, it seems to be after yeah. protecting their image more than anything. But uh, like yeah. you, Craig, uh, Craig Rose and guys, I know he, for sure. Listen, at one point, like you said, it's not so much about protecting an image, but it's about like the rate. Like you don't want to wake up someone by yelling beside their bed no. when they're sleeping. No. You know? So that's what we said before. Yeah. That's not the way you wake up someone. We, we know we have to raise the awareness. We know we are deeply under Must mind gentle, control. Uh, listen, gentle. So. gentle. If you're sleeping and someone come and just like, teach, teach, hello, teach, wake up. It's better than teach, wake up. Because <laughs> you're just going to jump up and you're going to be aggressive. Like, what, 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 what? you're going to turn into an idiot when you wake up. You, you don't have a clue what is happening. It's going to take you a while to realize that I was sleeping and someone woke me up. You know? So these are the principles you must bring into life. Just learn from life. The book of life. Book yeah. of life pages. The book of life. You know, life is your greatest teacher and we will learn a lot from other people. But also, mm -hmm. life can teach us a lot. But that will yeah. happen if we pay attention. Yeah, as... well, all right. You know that in life, though, because I learned this too. In life, any lesson you do not learn from positively, you are going to have to repeat this lesson. A lot of people do it with relationships. A lot of people do it in music. A lot of people are singing songs. You know? I look at me. I was singing songs from 2006 and coming up. And one and two songs hit in between. And this whole album now is like everyone said, hey, all of them, we can't choose. I learned my lesson coming up. Yeah, that's <laughs> I it. I learned my lesson in between. And when I was not learning it, I was doing it over and over and over and over. And it gets harder and harder each time. But that's what you have to expect life to be hard, then it's going to be easy. If you expect it easy, it's going to be hard. That's what I tell the myself. Lesson, the lessons we are supposed to learn, Jenny. Yeah. Just look at every situation as a lesson and say, what am I supposed to learn from this? Exactly. The most I ja, Rastafari, reveal to I what is it I supposed to learn. Yeah. And you learn it. And it change your behavior because learning is a change of behavior. Not true? 
So when you learn something, your behavior change. Yeah. If you learn a bad thing, your behavior change to the worse. If you learn something good, your behavior comes to the better. So just learn what is the lesson I'm supposed to learn from this. My car just crash. What am I supposed to learn from this? Why this happened? What is the lesson in it? Yeah. And when you get the lesson, you move on in a consciousness. Yeah. But if you don't learn, this thing will, next week you can crash again. And you're like, why this happened to me all the time? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a repeat, a repeat episode. Yeah. That's yeah. Now another subject I want to talk to you about also is that, you know, when you record your music, I know there's different, uh, you can play with the frequency, the earth's frequency with yeah. uh, what you record your music. I would like to yeah. know if, what kind of importance you attach to this because this mm. is something people don't know people that the listen to music don't know yeah. that but you can manipulate the frequencies to you know it everything affects us everything right. affects our brain especially okay. frequency it's a world of vibration and frequencies so tell the, me the about energy what. is the energy is music have power because it's sound you know word sound power so when you put vocals and music is the word that you put in there this is a word and this word carry a meaning and it also has a power now the, the instruments have a sound too and they too carry a power in the vibration some are more destructive than some but when you put them together you get a combined sound right so most people who are into music know that the bass line hit you a bit lower and the keyboard hit you a bit higher and the high hat hit you in the head and they can tell where on your body this frequency really affect on a physical level but on the emotional level every sound you hear affect you emotionally you know I mean so this is it now when i'm creating my music the first thing I have to work with me is the rhythm from here the rhythm Sometimes I listen to the rhythm for like, like a like a week, you know, man. One week, just have the rhythm as just a rotate. Just just have it a play. Wow. Yeah, yeah. We just get familiar with this energy because this is the thing. Some people create and they don't create from a space of what must I say now? Of meaning. Like the rhythm don't even have a vibes to it, you know. Them just have a metronome, tick tock, tick tock, tock, and just play some stuff. It is correct, but it not carry a swing. It not carry a vibration, which is a good vibration. Some rhythm too dark, meaning when we say dark, I mean it kind of have an evil vibration to them. Like yeah, these things I I try not to sing on. So when I get good rhythms now that give me a good vibration, then the message just keep coming because I I. If you if you ever observe my process, one of the time people say to I, um, teacher, do you have the lyrics for Emperor Selassie? And I go like, no, but I can write it for you. And I say, you don't write songs. And I say, I can't an answer this question. It's, it's not that I don't write songs, but my writing is different. I put the rhythm and listen and listen, and then I just sing. And when I sing, it stays there. And if I listen it again and there is something in there, it changed. You see, this is what we're talking about, the vibration. So if I'm singing about Rastafari way and then there is this line that the vibration is not what I want you to get or to feel or to sense, I'm changing that. You know, so the, the meaning stay where it is. You know? So when I say calm down, cool down, you see, even cool down, it send the, the vibration. Yeah. You know, so it can be calm down, cool down. You know, no, that's too aggressive for the message, you know. So these are the things I fix in the sound and the vibration. And the thing is, not everybody get it. You see, the person who really at a calm inner self, calm vibration, they can, they, I think they will love my music. The people who are aggressive that need this energy to feed their aggression, I don't have those music for you. I'm sorry. That's I'm so it. Sorry. I, I think it to become uh, successful in this, whether it's in speaking or uh, singing, it's a lot about the tone 
the tone yeah. of your voice the vibration you know, the yeah. vibration the tone yeah. you put in uh, speaking to people is the same thing they will notice your tone of voice and how you make them feel and with your very voice good. very good i yeah. remember this i remember this is a good example when well, you speak to people you know that's why i said when i was here in europe first i had to learn about the people's culture a lot of languages when i heard them first they sound aggressive to me you know, like even German, it sounded aggressive first. You know, the other languages like Italian, French, they have a melody, you know, but, but some languages just sound abrupt and <laughs> like it's an order, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I had to get used to adapting to this vibration and knowing that, hey, it's just their way of yeah. expressing themselves, you know. No, that's what I find too. Certain languages are more uh, like if you take Arabic, it sounds yeah. very uh, authoritarian. And yeah, then, like, yes, you, know, yes. you learn it. it. Mean that's the vibe they're sending, you know. Yeah, but you yeah. learn it, and then you find out that it's the way that they speak. That's the that's they've been used to that. So, yeah, yeah no, for sure. Uh, you know, I had another question here. Oh, yeah, that the you know, as an artist, that this is what. It's very important for you to develop uh, many strains of income. You know, at the end of the day, we have to do anything. Yeah. We have to live. Yeah. We, you know, we want to encourage you also because we want you to keep going at your dream. We love what you do. That's why I yeah. buy your albums. That's why everybody buy your album because give we want thanks, each so other to thanks, keep. Give thanks. Yeah, to keep making yeah, albums man. and to keep making music and concentrating on this stuff and that teacher D doesn't have to worry about money and stuff that can really focus on this stuff because yes, money, why. the worry about money energy comes and energy. You know, yeah. The, the energy. Worry, yeah. The worry about money can take us out of the now a lot. You know, that's what it does. All this stuff sure, in Babylon sure. takes us out of the now and now yeah. we're not focused. So my question to you is, for sure, as an artist, it's important to develop mm. uh, many strains of income. Even for me, it's important yes. to have more than one strain of income. So, you know, you do albums, you do concert, you do uh, merchandise and stuff. But yeah. what is the most uh, lucrative thing that we can encourage you in? Is it to buy your album, to go to your concert? Or what is the thing that can help teach Adi the most? The most. Uh, to, uh... <laughs> well, um right now i get a lot of support from shows okay uh, bookings and um i think right now the major help i could get from ones and ones who love this vibration is to support the album okay buy the album and uh the merchandise is special so if you need something special support yeah. these things too so these things that i am doing here because i am independent you know yeah and this is I the am, thing that you are yeah. an independent artist no? yes i am independent and the, the struggles we go through as independent artists is not necessarily earning money because you can earn money but the things that we are required to do to earn money most of us will not be doing this because we have a we have a better respect for the message we are bringing we have uh, more uh, responsibility towards our listeners. So we don't jump on every money-making bandwagon. Okay. So we are always behind this big money-making bandwagon. You understand? Okay. Right. So um, when we produce a product, like a music, with our music or um, the merchandising, we have to... I personally have to put this money I get from my shows back into these merchandising, exactly. back into mixing and mastering, back into these things. So this is where this money going. So just imagine some have to go to the bills, some have to go to eating, and some have to go to back in. Yeah? This is what I mean. I mean, uh, right. at one point, you that's it. You have, the, you have a living to do just like... Uh, yeah, do you have any children? Do you have any children? Yes, I, I have three children. Okay. Yeah, and they live too. You see, this is the energy. The energy is, earlier when I was a teacher, I had a lot of money. And I was not happy. Yeah. And since recently, I found myself almost close back to the not being happy. And I realized that it was, as I said, it was something inside me. 
So I went inside in meditation and found out that even as a Rasta man, there was a concept inside of me that was not allowing me to earn money which I deserve or which I think is fair towards the energy I was putting out. And I was blocking these earnings and all these things. So I focused on myself and found out that it was an illusion. And let me tell you why. I have a video on YouTube. You can check it out. And I was reading the comments and one person commented that a Rasta with an iPhone. And at first when I saw the comment, I was like, yeah, people can, you know, I don't easily gravitate to what people say about me in a negative or a positive way. I just listen and I look. Yeah. Yeah. So when I check it, I realized that this comment was bringing up a little vibration in me. And it was not guilt or anything, but I was kind of getting angry at this comment. Like, why this person said this? This person, why the person expect we to do as we travel in the world now? How we can keep in contact? And you, okay, I'm talking to you now on a MacBook. How, how is it going to work? Yeah. That's then it. I said, why am I saying this? So when I dive inward, I realized that inside me, I have this belief too that I should stay away from certain technology. That is very stupid. <laughs> There's a lot of Rasta people who are still there. And if you are watching this Rasta, look at pictures of His Majesty and look through and observe how His Majesty bring himself around. Yeah, it's not about, it's not about ego or hype. It's about technology. We are the ones who create these technologies. They can be used for bad. They can be used for good. Cameras that make the porno video is the same camera that make the music video. It's no yeah, difference. Exactly. So, staying away from technology, saying technology is evil and those things. It's, it, I was not so aggressive about it, but I didn't realize that inside me, I also have this stupid thought that some technologies I was supposed to stay away from. Yeah. I, mean, I feel that too. I feel it's that no too. Good. It's no good. The thing is, if you don't need this technology, it cannot help you in any way, then fine. Yeah. If it's a you distraction, know? if if it's a no. distraction, let it go. But it, like yeah. us, we use it to build up network and to communicate with people. I, I have my phone on me because, hey, if T. Chaddy texts me for an interview, I got to yeah. have my phone. I'm sorry, but that's important yeah. to me. So, you yeah. know, this is it's what good. I use my but. You know, it's yeah. like money. It's like money. Is it the yeah, root money. of all evil? Yeah, at one point, yeah. is what we do with the money that is evil. So it 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 is it is it is. But you ask me, I discovered that I did not have a good appreciation for money and earning money. I was just focusing on my music and getting my music to people. And then, without some amount of energy, money, I could not do so. Yeah. It, this approach was preventing my music to reach a lot of people in reaching a lot of people too so this is what i i i, I am at now i wish my listeners and friends to support my album also please write a review underneath there don't matter if you like the album go on itunes and put a review that this is a nice album if there's one track you don't like go and say i don't like this track it, it just it's okay just oh, there's respond there's not a single track that I don't like. I listened to it all many, well, many times. I picked a few tracks that, that uh, yeah. really got me. And I want to, first of all, there was two tracks I wanted to share with you as We Knew Fraid with Perfect It's Many. We've talked yeah. about it. And yeah. Rastafari Rise, we've talked about it too. Yeah. These are songs that I play. That uh, were not on the album. Several, several times a week. And they were not, that's you, you, not on the album. You were looking that's for them it. on the album, right? That's it. Now that's the album. <laughs> Keep me away. Keep yeah, me yeah. away. That's I a prior. love that's that song. A prior. Tell me more about that because that's what there is all around us and evil forces. That's what there is. That even, is a prior. That is a even prior. Even me go, you know, we're walking through the, the shadows of death. That's what they yes, say. That. And yes, that's it. So we cannot let evil people come come uh, come our way and disturb us. So keep that me is away, a, I think. Is that it. is a prayer, you see? Um, you have a nice sunlight now. That is a prayer, yeah. you see. I I started the album with a prayer. So just like how I was grown 
in the morning you rise and you just give thanks for things. I didn't start the album giving thanks really, but I started it with a prayer of like safety, for safety. So I said, um, there are so many devils on so many levels, Oja. A lot of them will want to hurt the reggae soldier, you know? <laughs> so that's what I call myself then. And I say, keep them away from me. I a pray. That's how it started. You know? So I say, keep me away. Keep me away, I pray, from the evilest ones out there as I walk on the righteous way. So this is, a, this is the, the, the first one. It's a prayer, you know? So that's how I started. So just look at the whole thing as a continuous prayer. Yeah. Even the... The second verse, I say, a lot of people hurt me, but I move right along. Take it as a life lesson that I use right a song. It's the iron, the lion, the strong man that I am. Make iron I no hurt a one. But there is so much that I can bear. So much when them treat I unfair. So much deceivers out there. But Jaja, you have spot them clear, so keep me away. So it... Yeah, no, no, I say it like these people might say, Whoa, that's nice, but not a lot of people hear it when it's being sung. Yeah, uh, yeah. the the other, yeah, no, that's a big, big tune. I love it. I put it yeah. myself to mid state or solo, like I do when I before I come on YouTube. Many of times I have your music playing, it's a I'm not uh, kidding here, it's uh, the truth, and uh, I love your music, teacher. It's uh, yeah, bringing me to an every time so I have right. a I put music on every day i listen to reggae music every day but it's more to when i need an uplifting when i need a, a, a push when i go on youtube yeah. and I, especially before i go on youtube for a show on the truman show or on my other channel i always yeah, have right. music or or perfect gets many playing so it's great yeah, right. Right. your album your album is massive the other it's one nice. is uh, you know each one to each one you have people yeah. that came along in your life also that taught you stuff and i think your grandfather Everyone. was Everyone. one that teach you a lot and, yes. he taught, and he taught you to stop follow people you know and do your own Whoa. thing and that... you see <laughs> stop follow yeah. people is uh is like explaining why i am on this part too and it give you a bit of background on who teacher d is and where i am coming from yeah. From that song, you can learn that I live, I grew with my grandfather. Right there, you can get that right there. I grew with my grandfather in Westmoreland. And a lot of who I am as a man, I learned from him. And when I was a younger youth growing up, I was just like every other child. I follow a lot of crowd. I was in trouble all the time. You know, we, we steal fruits from neighbor's trees. <laughs> yeah, we got beaten for it because this was the 80s, you know. I broke this hand once, broke this other hand another time, climbing trees. So my grandfather put me one day, it's true, I was going to school one morning, but I my clothes, we, I wanted the latest fashion at the time. The fashion at the time was gun foot pants where you make the foot of the pants narrow and the knee was big like mc hammer style <laughs> so when i came out the house with the pants I, I guess to him i look ridiculous so he just stopped me and him said you know like i said he couldn't take it no more you know so he just stopped me and say boy just do what you feel do that is a part of a term that means do what you're supposed to do he said, you are going to school now. You said, just go to school to learn. Have fun. But your main purpose at school is to learn. Not to follow fashion and looking like an idiot and those things. Stop follow people. Stop follow your friends. Just focus on what you want to do and do that. And that, yo, that never leave me. That was a very powerful message. And I never understood it until I became a Rasta man. I sing it too. Say, now that I am a Rasta man, I understand. I understand that so much hype go around now. Yeah. That's what the first thing. You know? Now that I am a Rasta man, I see so much hype coming at I from left to right. I just pay no attention. But I just hold my direction. I remember the days my old grandfather said, do what you feel do. <laughs> yeah. Do what you feel yeah. do. Yeah, you man. Do. It's a message to everyone, man. Do your thing, man. Don't follow people. Don't even follow teacher D, man. Just do your thing. 
Yeah, but the, the, but this is what also came at the, when I listened to that song. I was like, yeah, that's true. I've never been really a follower. I'm more of a leader than a follower. Yes, yes, I, yes, I yes. help people. I love to yeah. help, but yeah. I don't follow, you know, because I yeah. always understood that. But that, uh, Craig made me realize also something uh, perfect is many when he told yeah. me a man is just a man. You know, a man yes, is just I. a man. Yes, I. And, yes, I. Yes, and I. this... Yes, I made me also break out of my shell even more and reach out to more and more people and yeah. then ended up with you because a man is just a man. What are we afraid of? Ah, to, you know, it's sometimes... <laughs> no how rich a man look or how strong a man look, a man is a man. It's yeah. simple. <laughs> yes, I, yes, I. And we all have something to teach each other. If You, you know, especially yeah. us, we don't have a big layers of ego. You don't have an ego. I don't have an ego. Yeah. It's not about the ego here. It's it's about uh, you know inspiration and uh, anyway this is what i do uh, now uh, i for sure i get to, to your teaching and it's giving me a great uh, you see great upliftment i must i must clear up this part um stop follow people when 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 you hear this term it doesn't mean you must not learn from people exactly you, you, you must try to learn everything even from the bees like solomon learn Every, every situation you see in front of you, stop and meditate about it and think, what can I learn from this? Everything. It, sometimes it's best, hey, sometimes it's best to just be by yourself and just meditate with the trees and the rivers and stuff. That's than what to I be, do. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, you know, you know the, best, <laughs> the best conversation you'll ever have is with yourself. All right, all right. It's with yourself. That's what yeah. I am. The you know when I want to reflect, you know, reflection is part of the solution. Also, if we don't reflect, yeah. we'll never find solution for this world. So we yeah. we have, we must start to reflect, and the reflection start on a personal basis, like you do with your music, like I do yeah. with my channels, with on YouTube, and you yeah. know this the reflection starts somewhere, and uh, yeah. The other song that I uh, really love is 13 Months of Sunshine. Whoa, that's 13 why. months. So, such a massive. <laughs> 13 months of sunshine. Of sunshine. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. <laughs> why would anyone want to stay away? Yeah. All right. The energy is when you look at what the media does, um, institutionalize an image of everywhere from Jamaica to Africa to Germany to everywhere. It is not enough for you to just accept what the media is giving you. And I don't, I don't say you must not accept it. No. I said it's not enough to accept the image that the media is giving us. We must find a way to get first-hand knowledge because from the media is giving you, the media is taking it then giving it. That is called second-hand knowledge. Yeah. We must try to get first-hand knowledge. And if we cannot get first-hand knowledge, we must seek other sources of information. Um, 13 Months of Sunshine is a song that I try to expose people to the possibility of using even this internet you have, man, and just search. Because if you put Nairobi, Kenya, and just search, you can't believe the images you see. Because if you watch television, you see like the desert and lions and few trees and bushes and... You're not going to see banks and skyscrapers and you're not going to see well-developed cities. Oh. You know, people think of Ethiopia without um, searching for themselves. Don't, don't know about trains there and the latest technology. They just think of some poor village and these things. So that song, I hope that song could ignite in people this drive to go and look at these places teacher he's talking talk about we said nairobi kenya addis ababa have you seen the truth of what mama africa be, be yeah. 13 months of sunshine so this is the message in there have you seen the beauty of what the true image Exactly, because what we're given by a mainstream media is often very fake. So what we are, what their yeah. vision, that their 
the, the, the perception, you know, many of us are driven by the perception of reality, not reality. Yes, so I... <laughs> that's it. It'd be driven by reality. It's to experience stuff first. Then, yeah. like, uh, you know, uh, first party, this is an experience that you're having. This is the truth. But yeah, when man. someone tells you something, it can be distorted. It can, there can be lies in there. Yeah, secondhand yeah. information can be very dangerous yeah. because people have a style to put their own bias towards it or they, they put in their own belief. Yeah. I, I believe many years ago, the media was more balanced where they give you both sides and let you decide. But nowadays, they all have an agenda they're pushing. You know, yeah. if it's to lessen tourism or to create this image of crime every day. I, I have said it in many interviews. I have been around Europe and I have not been in a country without crime. Crime has, is everywhere. If it is organized and you don't see it or it's happening right in front of your eyes and you're not aware, yeah. crime is everywhere. You know, so if you focus on these things, you will always see them. You know, if you're involved in them, you'll always be in this world. But if you focus on the good, anywhere you go, you will see these things. Yeah, yeah do good, do good, and good will follow you uh, for yeah. sure. And the the last song that I chose on your album was "Judge yeah. Is Calling," but that's a yeah. single that came out earlier, I think. Eh? Yeah, it came out. That single came out, produced by Katmandu Productions and House of Rhythm. It came out January of the year before. Yeah, w so, what, ab what about the connection with House of Rhythm? Is there more yeah. stuff coming out of there? Because I love them. <laughs> <laughs> House of Rhythm is a big band, you know. And to tell you, I have a show with them on the 13th yes. of May. Too, coming yes, up. I yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah. You were advertising yeah. it. So the energy with House of Rhythm is they are a very good band from Austria. Yeah. And they, they just make good music. Oh, yeah. There is no other underlining factor. It's not because they're Austrians. It's not because they're Europeans. It's not because... No because is there. They do and they create very good music. Yeah, They right? are house of rhythm. They are right. just house of rhythm it's and they're their great. Production, great. Yeah. Sam Gilly, Sam Gillies and yeah. there are a few other... Yeah, no, great. Sam Gillies is oh. the leader, I think. Eh? Yes, yes. Yes, to the best of my knowledge. <laughs> yeah, I think but, it's um, in the... the... The truth is, House of Rhythm has a lot of contributions and many projects. Not just teacher these albums. A oh, lot man. of albums going around have rhythm from House of Rhythm. Oh, in yeah, Europe all over. right now. So not only that they produce for themselves, a lot of these big albums you see have like two or three House of Rhythm productions on there, compositions on there. I don't know, they're one of the major bands, them and the, the upper uh, upper uppercut band too. Have you played with those uh, people? Uppercut? Yeah. No, no, not uppercut. Okay. Um I, I there's another band called Dub Akum. Yeah. They play very well too, and I, I see them getting into productions that they've been doing productions too. And there's one more in, in Australian called I think it's Fireman. Fireman banner or something like yeah, Fire, yeah, yeah. There's lots Firehouse of band, band coming out, Firehouse and it's good band. for you guys because often when you travel, I have not worked with them, but I met them too at a festival. That's Boom it. Rush. Oh, Boom Rush. Boom hey. Rush is on my album. To Boom Rush is a German band. Hey, Crazy. I, I can't Crazy. leave you without talking about. Uh, you're going to a big festival. Which one is it? Rotatam, I oh, think. Or... No, I'm, I'm going to Reggae Jam. Reggae Jam. Yeah, Reggae with, Jam. With House of Rhythm. So just imagine yeah. how that is going to be. And they created the album, basically. So these rhythms are going to wow. be tight. Performance is going to be mad. Oh, that's yeah. going to be such a concert. Yeah. I wish I could be there. When I seen that, I said, yeah, well, DJ D at the Reggae Jam. Wow. It's a different. It's going to be. It is going to be a different energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Different for sure. Energy. No, no. I'm it's sure gonna be a, It is going to be a teacher D that. A lot of my fans and friends wish and were waiting on. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know it's gonna come. Yeah. Are you gonna yeah. film? Are you gonna film the concert live so we have the footage? Reggae Jam, Reggae Jam have this. They have discovered. Yeah. That's it. You know? That's they it. Have they, have, gonna... they have good footage and documentation of all their festivals, and I had some other festivals that wanted to book me, but. Unfortunately, they wanted me for the same two days. <laughs> oh, okay. July is a time when 
Europe has so much festival. So much, eh? So much yeah, reggae so festival much everywhere festival. in yeah. Europe. Europe yeah, is so big with reggae music. It's it's the the, the place. It's a the, it's the, a the, worldwide the, thing, you know. But I'm gonna tell you what I noticed. You see, Europe, they stick to the roots. They 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 love the roots yeah. of reggae. Yeah. You know, so they 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 go with the dance hall and they go with the new roots and thing, but they love the roots. And if you look at some of the lineup nowadays, you see some people coming out of the framework that you thought were not even doing music anymore. You know, some yeah. real old school roots artists, and it's an wow. honor for I and I to share stage with these ones. You know, oh no, to you I, should. it's more blessings for I to share stage with a man doing reggae from the sixties. From the seventies, if he's still around, yeah, these are the people I want to go around and reason with and say, you know, these are the people when they hear my music. If they say yes, teacher, D, it gives me more energy. That's it. That yeah, gives you a boost. Yeah. Around, you know what I mean? They know the real route. You know, no matter what, you need that energy. You feed on energy of other people, just yeah. like me, and we give each other strength. We build it just oneness, by... man. A oneness, a oneness, oneness. That's it. You know, I, you have, I have a lot of confidence in my work, you know. Yeah. But what I mean is, just like Giddy Man, he would come around and say, hey, teacher, the, you, you, are a, you are a talented yeah. person. You sing in all different ranges and keys and everything, but you see this key here? People feel it, and I feel it, and just stay there. Yeah. You know? I just push that. Yeah. And he has never been wrong. And... um. I want to say congratulations to him too. His production is on the billboard now with another artist. Yeah. yeah. Young Shanti is on the yeah, billboard man. number one. It's congratulations like, wow. to Perfect Gidimani, Chalice Palace, and Gidimani Records. Oh, I, yeah. I just have to. Chalice Row Records, all of them, big them up. And yeah. I tell you the truth, I'm happy for them just like I'm happy for myself. But just at this place now where Everyone that I come in contact with and I reason with, it's just a joy to see them excel to their greatest potential. Yeah. And That's what we want to see yeah, each other yeah, succeed. Yeah. It makes me yeah, happy to I see other so people succeed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So anyway. That was a. I don't want to hold you too long, teacher. It's always been yeah. an hour and something, but it was a oh, great, yeah, great you know, I have I have a I have a little dub play to sing and some jingles to do and in the Sunday afternoon. And I have a video that I'm finishing up now for Calm Down that should be coming out soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, what, what's coming uh, soon from Teacher Dina that we're going to be uh, seeing very soon? Well, as I just said, there is going to be a new video soon premiering. Okay. And Dan Tipa from 10th Floor will be premiering a video Monday too. I don't leave him out because we work in music together like that. Yeah. Um, naturally perfect get him on have them things so all of us this is this the unit that is going forward right now so yep. apart from those my singles that are coming out and yeah you know you saw that song on the album with Echo Minot yeah 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 I love that one too <laughs> never leave never feel alone that is a good one we, we, we're putting plans together to do those videos too so it's, it's just gonna be an exciting summer you know Exciting summer, exciting year yes, for sure, exciting uh, yes, career, uh, yes, exciting uh, exciting life. And you know, that's what happens when you take life by the color, it becomes exciting. You know, yes, that's uh, what it is to experience life. And we are experiencing it and we're giving thanks for it. But there's a lot of going on with 10th Floor also, Don Tepo. Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. You yes, have yes. a lot of talented artists under that label, uh, Mr. Heiss. But Mr. Ice, no, Mr. Can you Ice change. Yeah, all right, Mr. That's Ice. What, no. That's what I want to ask you. Did he change his name? <laughs> no, here what happened to Mr. Ice now. Okay. Mr. Ice is a is a is a he's not he's a deep raster man in his meditation. Yeah. From from a longer time. And just like what happened to me in the early days where when we were seeking help. We had to just conform to what we were given. So we get a lot of dance all rhythm and so forth. And you have some producers where you wanted to do a change and they're telling you no, it made no sense, you did too much promotion with this name or whatever it is. If you notice, Mr. I start to work with Giddy Mani too. <laughs> yeah, I know. I yeah, see him with yeah. Giddy I'm I wanna have him <laughs> yeah. on interview. I'm gonna contact yeah. him for an interview. 
Mr. Ice just link I one day. I say, hey, me finish with the ice thing. Eh? Oh. Me, me not feel it no more. The sound and the power behind this name, this word and this sound and this power. Me not, me not feel this ice thing. It, 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 the energy just. Yeah. It, it, it is okay, but it just not. Me not feel like no ice again. Me feel yeah. different. And him, him, him just transform into Greg Rye right now. And if you listen to him songs now, it 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 have less aggression. It's just a different energy. No, I'm you gonna know? go listen to it. I've seen it like a few days ago yeah. on Facebook. I'm like Greg Roy, Greg he, Roy. And I he started is planning to make an official um, announcement still. But I cannot lie. You asked me what's up, and I just told you what's up. Cause yeah, it's not yeah. no big secret, you know. It's no, no, out there already. It's out yeah. there. I, I think a lot of fans may not realize that it is him now, but they're going to recognize soon. But I, 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 have a I video coming out too. I made the link when I saw Whitehead, Greg Roy Whitehead. I saw yeah. Whitehead before. Yeah, so yeah, I you you pay attention. That's what I'm saying. You saw that yeah. is the same um name underneath the yeah. the pseudonym, the, the stage name. A lot yeah, of people don't know. They just think it's a new artist. I didn't see it right away. At first, I thought it was a new artist, Greg Roy. Yeah. But at first, I I, I thought Greg Rose. I, I thought oh, I saw yeah, Rose. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, no, yeah. I said Greg. But then I made the link. I said, that's Mr. Ice. I, I support said, him. I support yeah. him 100%. Yeah, yeah. Because oh, yeah. I remember when I was a teacher and decided to make a transition into music, he was supportive. Yeah. When a lot of friends said I was crazy and family said me mad. Yeah. And I lose the nine to five work that I had. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. was there and say, "Hey, teach everything I do in Obergy. So, um, this is just another um level for him too, you know, consciously, yeah. spiritually, and it will work, you know. Yeah, we're all growing. Don is doing great. Also, Don is putting out Tipa, massive, yeah, man. massive. Don, Don is unbelievable. Yeah. He, he Don well, puts me at. Yeah, Tipa is. Tipa oh. is, a, is a different artist too, you know. It's, it's the good thing is the three of us do, we do music and yeah. even Advi that is the youngest Advi, one. Advi now. too, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, we, it, I, I do not have them under any contract. No, it's so no weird. We are ten floor, but we, I, I, hey, you're free, brethren, yeah. to express yourself where you want to. You know the standards that we have. The standard is clean, positive music. You know what the plan is. We want to do roots music and we have a market we focus on and all these things. You're free to do whatever you want to do. Even change your name to Greg Roy. You're free to do so. <laughs> <laughs> you can free, do what you want. Free to do so. Yeah, man. Just, just yeah. Whatever you feel, you know, whatever your true energy is aligned to. No, I'm going to contact uh, Why not? Why not? I'm going to contact uh, Mr. Whitehead, Mr. Craig Roy now. I'm going to contact <laughs> him and uh, bring him on for an interview. I'm sure we yeah, would vibe uh, great man. together. But uh, it's a pleasure, teacher, to have shared these uh, moments with you, these divine moments. I a one love so as much. usual, you know, Janik. You don't yeah, know. Yeah. A one love. One love. As usual. Yeah. And uh, we'll do it again. <laughs> you try uh, to make it usual, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, as usual. One love. That's as it. usual. That's yeah, it. man. You see. We give thanks still. I and I give thanks same way. I say we because on the behalf of Ten Floor, yeah. this is a this is a good energy. And um the information that came out and even some things I learned from you just a while ago. I, mean, I can tell you now. I and the I reason. And you yeah. ask me one simple thing. Like you say, how can the fans support me and these things? I have never really at the arm look at it from that angle. You know, sometimes you produce music and you just expect people to know that, you know, buy it or so. But I'm going to look from this angle now. You know, someone told me, you know, teacher, they start a GoFundMe account for, like, the expenses of the new album. Like, I know what expenses I had, you know? Yeah. And they say, get a GoFundMe account. I know I needed, like, such and such, sorry, yeah. thousand. If I maybe if I had done that, I would have been finished with it from last year. Because yeah. I was trying to finish it last year, but then the cars come in and you know we don't have no big deal. So I was like, oh yeah, the bills come, the youth them go to school. I mean, I see about like a thing there, there, there. So yeah. it kind of delay until March of this year. You know? February into March. So if I had thought from that angle, you see me learn my lesson now. I think that is a good platform to this GoFundMe thing where people can help independent artists, you know, 
it clear some of the little expenses of production and thing. I don't mean I don't need people to give me go fund money to live, you know. No, but no. this is what the the um the album costs. And if you love the album and you want it cheap, then we share the cost and you get the album cheap. It's simple. If we want yeah. to do some vinyl, then and we know that the vinyl costs this amount, and we say, come we do a GoFundMe. Then we just go fund the thing and just give yeah. it back basically upon the um the wholesale price. Yeah. People no. just have a vinyl. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, this is what I just put together what you just said. Share yeah. it, you know. That's share yeah. it, you know. Share. It's about sharing. It's about sharing yeah. and caring and One caring. Love, that's One it. That, that's what I'm we going must to put bring. that into action. Yeah. I'm going to put that into action. I'm going to put yeah. that. Because a lot of people want the vinyl now. But yeah. this, the cost of producing the vinyl is is a high risk because um I'm not sure of the, the quantity right now. That's the real truth. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, the quantity sure you the get quantity, press you know. and all that. It's very Yeah, how much, you know, because yeah. a lot of people pledge, but then when it's there, you know, but here we are. we leave it in it the hand of the most side. It will come. Jagai. <laughs> Jagai ja it will come. Know. Yes, Rastafari. Give thanks again. Salute, my friend, and uh, thank you very, very much for coming on. It's a massive vibe. I'm overwhelmed by the emotion. I'm going to be probably the whole day recuperating from that, but I have another show live in not so long, so I'll, I'll be uh, giving out my emotions there. <laughs> well, That's good. So well, one love. love, respect each other. And, uh, like yeah, I well. said, we'll do it again sometime next year. Uh, for sure, I like to uh, hang around, with, hang out with you like that. It's a... Uh, very good vibe. I learned a lot, and it's uh, people are inspired. Obviously, there is all kinds of people in the chat. There's actually uh, there was like 16 viewers live at one point. Pretty yeah. good, uh, you know. It's pretty good. It's early in the morning here in Canada. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So. It's pretty good. Yeah, so, one big up, big ones up, and ones big up everyone. Thanks for everyone that showed up and listened right. to us live and uh, felt the the great vibe and the love because this is what we had to offer this is what yeah, we man. come for all this, the this, time this is always like a reasoning with eye and the eye it's not yeah. like this big interview we just give no, thanks to that still it's a live reasoning it's not an interview it's more a live reasoning and uh, yes, you know, uh, we exchange vibes and that's good each one to each one like i said yes, so, thank you very kick. much ja rastafari rastafari rise for rastafari sure. we are, man. blessed love blessed love yeah, they're out.